Good morning, uh, Mike, Twin Circle Farm. So we got a little bit happening today. We've got some cleanup to do. Had a lot of summer weed grasses grow up. So I don't know if you remember Frankenstein from a previous video. Uh, just kind of throw together this lawnmower and we've got two really bad front tires on this mower. So I'm going to take you through how we're going to change them here on the farm. I got two new tires and I got the valve stems. So follow along. We'll just get it done as quick as we can. I can get a muffler on there one of these days. A muffler would be really nice. You gotta close it more. It's got air in it, just like I told you the last time. So you grab the same one that wasn't working the last time. I guess you need to go get on YouTube and figure out how to fix a jack. Okay. Get the dust cap off. Get dirty. Should have just a spring clip on here. A straight screwdriver and a rag. Hello? Rag. A decent size. Give me that one first. No, that'll work. I might need the hammer also. Didn't need the hammer. No, I'm good. Um, where's a magnet tray? Bring that over here. <laughs> what? You almost fell? No, Michael. Oh, he ran into it. <laughs> No. In a minute I will over there. Actually, right about where Miles is standing. So clearly it needed to be greased. It's almost dry. There's no scoring. A little bit on the inside. We'll pull out the valve stem, let all the rest of the air out of the tire. That one was good, so put it in the drawer and save it. Put that in the drawer so we know where it is. Well, there's a way to do it by hand. We got bigger tools. Come out here. Hey, do me a favor. Throw that piece of trash away. I'm gonna turn this bucket up on edge. I want the edge not to touch the metal, but on the rubber as close as I can. You understand? See, all you have to do is buy this uh, 45 horsepower tire changing machine. <laughs> yeah, we're good at this part. The spoon goes in. Again, it's harder on small tires than it is on big tires. Oops. It's one. Do it again. <clears throat> oh, son of a biscuit. All right, back of the truck. Let me new tire. See how 
clean that is where we're putting the tire. That's when that rubber sits up against it. That's what you want. You don't want anything in there between the rubber and the rim or the tire will go flat. Make sure all the rubber's through. Little tiny tires, too big. Give me that little tool that takes a valve core out and bring me that black filler hose and gauge. Green slime. Do we have a small jug of it or just the big pump jug? You put it in there and lost it already. Bring me the jug. We can't find the tool. Oh, the green stuff? Yeah. There was one. This is optional, this is just what I want to do. This is that tire slime. I'm using it like a beater, like a bead sealant. That way if some gets in the tire, hey, all the better for long-term protection from holes. side looks pretty good on that side air hose so this is just a this is just a lock on Watch your face. Now we gotta get it to touch. Come on, baby. Give me the other one. that off with a clean rag. This rag's greasy. So I found this it's called Red and Tacky. Well it's funny because I didn't know they made it in spray form. This is the exact same uh, molly grease or grease that I put in my grease gun. Red and Tacky. So I'm going to pre-coat it. You can see it comes out kind of foamy and droopy. I'm gonna put some inside the tire, inside the... I like red and tacky because it literally does what it says. It's tacky, it sticks. We'll probably still go ahead in a minute and put a 
the grease gun on the zerk in the back. That's just like added protection up front. See this clip goes in that groove right there. Small tractors you sometimes push them on by hand. They come springing off if you miss. Put our dust cover back on. Well, let's go get the grease gun out of the back of the truck. Alright, Miles, give me the tube. Using our trusty Lincoln battery powered grease gun. Go ahead. Okay. Alrighty, that's one. So basically, folks, we're going to duplicate that for the other side, and we'll come back to you in a bit. You want to take a good picture of that? Okay, so one of the things about the Frankenstein is we uh, had to cut the muffler off underneath before, so I'm going to make an attempt at welding a, uh, a custom muffler, and then we'll cut the side open so that it has room to close the hood. The old muffler went straight down by the tire. Well, that's where all the belts are for the Frankenstein, for that front... Uh, For the front sickle bar more. So, a little bit of MIG welding. Build it. Tacky um, grease, so just spray it on all those moving parts there. It'll make like a foam. No, 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 no. What? See where it slides under that clip? Oh, okay, gotcha. And then in the tray itself, so you'll have to kind of go along the back side of the blade. So yeah, you see where it slips along these. Make sure to get those all the way down. So I had to take that off of a walk behind take that off of a start putting that back together uh, walk behind sickle bar mower Top drawer. Yeah, stay back. Still looks like it's listing left. Miles, I asked you. Nothing.
I don't know where it leaks at, but there's a leak in there. I don't know. I'm over here. I have no idea. All right, see how loud it is.